Make sure that aloe vera leaves are soaked in water. Overnight this process is to remove the poison from aloe vera known as aloin or latex. Remove the spikes and cut the leaves about 2 inches long. Then blender. In a pan add cloves about 2 tablespoon. Then add the aloe vera gel. I have about 3 cups of aloe vera gel. Bring to boil for about 20 minutes. I added ginger to this recipe, but it's optional. Let it cool down then strain. While straining, let's talk about the benefits of aloe vera and cloves to hair. According to WebMD editorials, contributors, aloe vera has many active ingredients and minerals that can help strengthen your hair. It has fatty acids and amino acids and is rich in vitamins A, B12, C, and E. It controls greasy hair. Aloe vera has enzymes that break down fat sand. So strips your hair of any extra oil. Helps an itchy scalp. Seborrheic dermatitis is a common inflammatory skin condition that affects your scalp. It causes dandruff, red skin, and scaly patches. Has protection from UV damage. A study found that fresh aloe vera juice offers protection from ultraviolet radiation that comes from the sun. Well cloves boost hair growth by increasing blood circulation and enriching the scalp with oxygen. In addition to vitamins A, C, and K, they also contain iron, manganese, and potassium. This not only adds strength to your hair, but also prevents it from falling out. Those are just some of the very good properties of our to main ingredient. Let's begin our DIY natural organic shampoo using this aloe vera gel and cloves mixture. We need costile soap. I used Coco Costile Moisturizing Soap. I will show the picture later. By the way, this aloe, vera and cloves extract will turn brown when totally cooled down. I will be mixing 1 is to 1 ratio of aloe vera cloves, extract, and costal liquid soap. I also added half a teaspoon of pink salt for every one half cup of costal soap and one half cup of aloe cloves extract. Mix well. I am just making a total of one cup of DIY shampoo. I will keep some of this in the freezer for future use. To make sure that the mixture won't get spoiled. You can add antibacterial oil essence like lavender or peppermint. I used peppermint. I also put some mixture in ice cube container then freeze. This is the frozen shampoo 
You can take one cube or one half every time you need it. Upon posting this video, I had been using this mixture for two weeks. And I noticed that I don't suffer from oily and itchy scalp. If you are like me, with sensitive scalp, and having problem finding the right shampoo in the market, then you should try doing this method. By the way, I made about one liter of DIY shampoo Organic shampoo does not give a lot of bubbles, but it can clean your scalp and hair 100% without the worry of possible allergy.